we are going to learn about composition of functions. Now, this is not combining functions. Combining, that means add, subtract, multiply, divide. Composition is we, when we plug one function into another. So, we are plugging one function into the other. Another thing I want you to know, if I say find f at g, sometimes people call it f of g, but f at g, f of g. Another way to write this, you see this little open circle, that does not mean multiplying, that means composition, composition. Another way I could write this, it'd be equal to f of g of x. So I will find g at x, and I will plug that into the f function. I have given you two functions, f of x is equal to 3x minus 5, and g of x is equal to 2 minus x squared. I want you to find f at g at 0. First of all, I would need to find g at 0. So wherever I see the variable x, I'm going to plug in 0. So this would be f and g at 0. Well, wherever I see x, I'm plugging in 0. So that, so that will be 2 minus 0 squared, which is just 2. So g at 0, when I plugged in 0 for the variable, g at 0, the answer was 2. Okay, we are not done. I have this f function, and it's saying, hey, look at the f function, look at the f function, and I don't want f at x. I want f at 2. So I will take that f away. I'm looking at the f function, and I will take 3 times, and Instead of x, I will now write 2 minus 5. Well, 3 times 2 is 6 minus 5, which is equal to 1. Elf at g at 0 is equal to 1. Let's try another one. Okay, I want to find elf at g at 3. I'm going to bring down my elf function. And g at 3, g at 3, so wherever I see x, I now will replace x with 3. I want to find g at 3. Okay, so wherever I see x, I'm now going to plug in 3. So I have 2 minus, and this will be 3 squared. Now the negative is not in parentheses with this 3, so only the 3 is squared, so that would be 2 minus 9 which is negative 7. So g at 3 is a negative 7. Am I done? No, we can keep going. And now I'm not interested in the g function anymore. I want to find f at negative 7. So I will look at my f function, and wherever I see x, I will now plug in negative 7. So f at negative 7 is 3 times negative 7 minus 5. That will be negative 21 minus 5, which will be negative 26. So f at g at 3 is equal to negative 26. Let's keep going. Okay, this time I want you to find g at f at 3. So remember, just like in parentheses, we work from the innermost parentheses out. I'm wanting you to find f at 3. So wherever you see x in the f function, you take x away and you plug in 3. Now I will write my g function down. We can't forget g, but I'm not doing anything with g yet. So that would be g at f at 3. Well, f at 3 would be 3 times 3 is 9, 9 minus 5 is 4. So f at 3 is 4. Now I still have this g function, so now I'm looking at g at 4. So I will run over here to the g function, g at 4. So instead of 2 minus x squared, it's be 2 minus 4 squared. So I will write that down, 2 minus 4 squared. That would be 2 minus 16, because the negative is not part of the squared term. And 2 minus 16 is a negative 
14. Let's continue. Okay, now I'm looking for elf at elf of 3. So the first elf I am just bringing along. I'm not doing anything with this elf yet. What I am working on is elf at 3. Well, elf at 3, we have done this before. It is 3 times 3, which is 9. And 9 minus 5 is 4. So elf at 3 is 4. But remember, I still had this elf function. So now I am looking at elf at 4, which would be 3 times 4 minus 5. 3 times 4 minus 5. That would be 12 minus 5, which is 7. Let's try another one. Okay, alpha of g at negative 3. Okay, you should be getting the hang of this by now, but look at this negative. Be careful. So g at negative 3. So remember, wherever I see x, I'm going to now plug in a negative 3. I will just bring that first elf along. I'm not doing anything with that yet. And g at negative 3. Well, I'm going to go ahead and write this out. It would be 2 minus negative 3 squared. Do I make that minus a negative a positive? No! I hope you didn't say yes. The negative 3 is squared. I have to do exponents before multiplication. I'll write 2 minus negative 3 squared is a positive 9. So that will equal elf at negative 7. And so now I look at the elf function. And wherever I see x, I will now plug in negative 7. It would be 3 times negative 7 minus 5, which will be negative 21 minus 5 which will be negative 26. Okay, last problem. f of g of x. Now remember, we have been working problems up to now that was f at g, and I had a number here, so I would figure out g at that number, and then take that number, plug it into the f function. But now I didn't give you a number. I just want you to plug g of x, whatever g of x is, into f. Hmm. Well, what is my elf function? It's 3 times whatever's in the parentheses minus 5. Well, so what is g of x? Okay, so I'm going to take elf, and instead of g of x, I will plug in 2 minus x squared. So instead of g of x, I wrote 2 minus x squared. I can't go any farther. I can't tell you what this is yet exactly, because I don't have a number for the x. So f at g of x would be f at 2 minus x squared. So I have to take 2 minus x squared and plug it in to wherever I see the variable in the f function. Well, let's write down the f function. The f function is 3 times x, 3 times the variable, minus 5. Okay, so I am looking for f at 2 minus x squared. I took that x out, and I'm going to plug in g of x, which is 2 minus x squared. Well, I will do a little bit of distributive property. 3 times 2, that will be 6. 3 times x squared, don't forget that negative. Then I will be subtracting 5. I can simplify this a little bit. I like to write my variable first, so I have negative 3x squared. And a positive 6 and a negative 5 is a positive 1. So f at g of x is just negative 3x squared plus 1. And if I don't tell you what x is, that is as far as I can go. I'm done. But now I want to show you something here. We found the function f at g of x, and it was negative 3x squared plus 1. Okay, let's say I wanted you to find f at g at 4. Well, you already found the function f at g of x, so wherever I see x, I will now plug in 4. So I will have negative 3 times, and that would be 4 squared plus 1. Now be careful with your order of operations. That would be negative 3. 4 squared, you do exponents first, is 16. And negative 3 times 16, that will be negative 48 plus 1, 
which is negative 47. Okay, well let's say I had not found this function first. And I did it the way we did our first several problems. If I was wanting to find f at g of 4, I looked at the g function and I plugged in 4. So it would be f and g at 4, that would be 2 minus 4 squared is 16. So it would be 2 minus 16, I would get negative 14. And then you would take the f function and it says 3 times whatever's in the parentheses, minus 5. So I would have 3 times negative 14 minus 5. Well, 3 times negative 14, that will be negative 42 minus 5, which, watch out, negative 42 minus 5 is what? It is a negative 47. And that is not magic, that is mathematics.